A windy, wavy day on Lake Ontario, and the flooding continues. Today, the International Joint Commission held a conference call to address the high water crisis. Although there was speculation it would address calls to get rid of Plan 2014, the plan to manage the water levels, the IJC has not yet provided details of the meeting. Meantime, more tough choices for people who live and work on the lake, as Atia Collins found out today. Waves coming in from Lake Ontario were crashing into the sandbar this morning that separates it from Sotus Bay. The residents on Lake Beach Road are watching as the land around the sandbar disappears. Dan McColl's dock is underwater. His boat lift is non-accessible and water has flooded his property. Uh, the scariest thing is the sandbar that's behind us here that protects us from Lake Ontario. If we have too many flood years like this, it's going to be in jeopardy. It's a really windy day and you can see the waves rolling on in. Now take a look. We have docks underwater here at Sodas Point. Debris floating in and back there is the barrier that separates Lake Ontario from Sodas Point Bay and that is slowly disappearing. David Fox also lives on Lake Beach Road, and he is in jeopardy of losing his boathouse. Oh, all these shore properties, the boathouses, the docks, the front yards, they're now going to become lakefront property. Are they going to survive these waves? Who knows? Both families are dealing with record-breaking flood levels and high winds that only add to the high waters. Both want action from the International Joint Commission. And I think with a new members of the International Joint Commission, I'm hoping, we're all hoping that they'll see the light of day. We understand in 2017 a lot of it was nature. This year the IJC owns this and they're responsible. The IJC has already increased Lake Ontario outflow, putting it at a historic maximum rate. They said they will hold emergency meetings to discuss potential solutions. Reporting for News 8, I'm Atia Collins. All right, Atia, thank you. The IJC did hold that conference call today, again, to talk about the flooding. It was not open to the public, and the IJC hasn't released details. But tonight, the Nature Conservancy, a powerful environmental research and lobbying group, did have a request of the IJC. It also released a statement accusing government leaders of political posturing and blasting them for blaming Plan 2014 for problems it says is caused by extreme weather. The Nature Conservancy said, quote, no plan, not Plan 2014, not the previous plan, Plan 1958D or any other, can prevent flooding when there is this much water in the Great Lakes. To claim otherwise is irresponsible and misleading to the people and communities victimized by the flooding. It went on to say, instead of promising property owners something they cannot deliver, a Lake Ontario that does not flood, our government leaders should focus on the many ways we can begin to build a safer future. And according to the Nature Conservancy, that includes funding to help people move infrastructure out of harm's way and to provide technical expertise to strengthen the shoreline for the long run.